Hi and welcome to the Open Island. Today we want to present to you this year's Floating Future Challenge. Joy, please, what is it all about? Well, uh, as you might know, uh, we are working on uh, floating islands made of uh, upcycled materials mostly. And uh, the idea is um, that uh, the demand for floating island rises with the sea levels anyway. So the, the people in need, they need an easy construction manual. And this is what we have developed. These open islands consist of, um, of uh, the floats, floaters. Then we have a platform on top. We can build designs like architecture or on underwater architecture. And we're looking for concepts and ideas how to use these. And, and this is yeah. what uh, the challenge is about. So there are many different ways how a um, floating island can be used, for example, as a shelter, as food production place for energy generation. You can use it as a concert space for um, cu um, culture or co-working space. There is no limit to it. And this is why we want to invite everybody to join the challenge, which will start in April with an open call. We are now um, looking for partners, volunteers and participants for this Open Floating Futures Challenge. In June there will be a physical hackathon in Berlin where people can participate globally online. Once people have registered an idea and um, created a team profile, they can then continue in this global co-creation process. Um, where we have coaching calls, community calls and help each other for the concept and construction and the making ready of the final prototype. We hope to have as many teams as possible to generate as much construction manuals on the open source platform of the Makers for Humanity. And in the end, there'll be a big presentation, pitch and celebration and the final projects will all be part of our publication. So let's, let's uh, show them the construction. We have uh, organized uh, some modules. Hold on, this is on land. We are still in the construction process. And uh, over there we have um, two scale models of these floating islands. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, wow, so <laughs> this is a um, one to two model, right? Yeah, like this, is this is miniature scale, but here you can see the construction. Hold on, I'm gonna... This is, this is an easy construction manual and uh, all parts are uh, easy to get. Uh, these containers have uh, each 90 kg uplift, so totally you can load this little island with uh, 500 kg. Wow. So this is quite uh, huge, but uh, this is only the small scale model. Mm -hmm. This is our original. Here you can see the same construction, hexagonal, because uh, hexagons uh, fit together perfectly on these, uh, uh, on these parts. So we have uh, with uh, two or three modules, we have already a, um, a, a great island, a modular island. Mm -hmm. uh, same construction technique and our floaters and this full-scale model uh, used dustbins. So these have each one ton uplift. And um, of course there are holes. We have managed uh, to, to close the holes with a welding technique for polyethylene. And then we mount it, as you can see, on our other floats. And uh, well, this is our construction manual, which we provide and um, on which we love to get uh, designs. Uh, of course, any other design is also feasible and uh, possible, but uh, this is what we provide and promote. So we are really now hoping to inspire everybody or as many teams worldwide as possible to participate in this open floating future challenge and come up with new concepts, ideas and prototypes based on how a floating module island can be constructed. And what you see here in the bag is another upgraded model, which um, for us will be something like a co-working space in the future. This is our headquarter actually for this challenge. We're gonna uh, stream all events, the online events from aboard our tiny float. 
and uh, yeah. yeah. We are looking forward to hearing from you.